Sharpie doing his first uh, training level test. And so I'm working on keeping him straight down the center line. You'll notice he gets a little wiggly. Um, so that will be a good place to improve and get some more points for him. And then next we do a half 10 meter circle to the left at E. And he felt fairly balanced through here, nice and straight. And then we do another half 10 meter circle uh, back to B. And I like to practice this a lot. It's actually a very good suppling exercise. But here he gets a little blocked off my right leg, which caused my canter transition to be a little late. Um, because he's when he's a little tense, I kind of lose the suppleness through his rib cage. So now I'm in my lengthening canter on the 20 meter circle, and it's kind of a delicate process, especially when you're bringing them along, of how much you can push in a test versus wanting to keep your relaxation. So uh, I'm trying to just ride that line a little bit of where he's still comfortable and I have a relaxed horse and where I can maximize uh, my points. So you saw on the transition, he kind of felt balanced enough. He almost wanted to walk, but um, I was pleased with how he was coming back. And so now we do the stretchy trot. Now he's showing a little bit of tension here in the fact he's not wanting to stretch all the way down out through his nose towards the ground. Um, but he tried for me, so Normally, when he's at home, he does it, but again, we're in a bit of a show atmosphere. So now I'm going to prepare for the walk, which was a little late. I probably could have helped him out a little bit more preparing him in the corner. And also with the young horse, you have to be mindful of the gap at A, always kind of protecting them so they don't stage left on you. Um, now we do the free walk, and he has a very lovely walk. You really want a horse that over tracks and swings through their body, which he does. And, you know, I could maybe ask him to get a little bit more consistent and really kind of take a hold of that bit, but that's just him kind of in his uh, training where he is right now. And then we, I prepare for a trot transition, which I felt pretty good about, and prepared for the left lead, and he did that pretty spot on. I was very pleased with that. And then moving on to the lengthened canter. And here I was able to develop it a little bit sooner on the circle. And then so I was able to show the change before the letter at E. So there you could see a difference in the canter. And we canter through the corner, corner and trot at A. is pretty spot on there. And then next we do a lengthening trot. And he's still in the developing stages of this, but you see he's trying not to be too quick and he's actually opening up his step so I can then show a change again in the transition. So overall I was really pleased. He was very very workmanlike in this test um, and he got better and better as he went along so uh, I felt like we were making progress as far as our rideability and even coming down the center line for our final halt. Um, he's pretty good about squaring up for me and then saluted so gave him a really well-deserved pat he took a nice deep breath and so I was very proud of him we ended up scoring a 34.1 and we were in seventh after dressage so heading into the show jump I had a bit of a plan um, I was a little concerned about him being casual. Uh, that's kind of what I've been working on a lot with this show jump. So I come to the first fence. I, I see a, a pretty good distance and I want to make sure that I have him on his hind end so I'm stretching up tall and he, of course he whacks the snot out of it. And so I was like okay. And so I sat him on the hind end and I came to the next vertical and he really tried hard to not touch that. So I thought hey, uh, He's trying hard. Um, so I come to the next vertical and again he tried to use himself and jump out of a good distance. And then coming to this two stride, I knew it was going to be snug for him. But again he's trying really hard for me to not touch them. And again trying to stay out of the way of the jumps. So at this point I'm thinking that he's actually starting to feel a lot better. He is um, starting to get in a good rhythm. So we come to another two stride and he jumped this quite lovely. And then I sat up again, making make 
sure he's rocking back on the hind end, jumped that really good, and I thought, oh, this is feeling great. And then about right here, I had a bit of a brain fart because we had to jump either a Liverpool or an option that was taller, and I only saw the eight on the taller option, so I did it, but that set my line up for this oxer a little bit differently, and he had another bit of a green moment. Um, but then he jumped the last one clear. So we ended up with just two rails, but I felt like we were really making progress. So now we have Sharpie on cross country. And I would say the theme for Sharpie is just balance. Uh, he's a very athletic horse, um, but I think what I've had to work on the most is his balance and getting him to rock back on his hind end because he tends to want to even gallop a little bit on the forehand. So you'll see I, I'm trying just to keep his head and his shoulders up a little bit so then it'll just reiterate to him to you know free up the front end so then we don't get so close to the jumps um, and now we're coming to a little bit of a corner and he's again such a brave horse he didn't really look at anything it's just I'm trying to make sure he understands to sit on his hind end so he has the time to get the front end out of the way. And now we're traveling downhill. And as I come downhill, you see I'm gonna start sitting back, stretching up with my shoulders. And as I get closer to the fence, I lean a little bit further away. And he jumped that one lovely out of stride. And this I saw quite a bit of a short distance. So I have to make kind of a big correction here to really sit him on his hind end. As I went to say, whoa, and then he slipped a little bit. And then he was very good to stay on his feet. Um, and he has his ears ready for the next one. And coming to this water, this actually caused a fair amount of trouble for some horses. But he was very good and brave. And I just let him trot through the water, finding his feet. Staying out of his way when he jumped it. And then now I kind of let him canter on a little bit. As I come to another big table, it has a a fair amount of a vertical face to it. So again, you see, I'm trying to keep his head up so he keeps up and in front. Because again, when he gets too low, he, he forgets about picking up his feet. <laughs> um, so that's just where it's just teaching him the correct balance. And here he really feels good. He listens to me when I just pull my shoulder back. I don't have to touch the reins. Um, and so that's essentially how I like to teach my horses. I don't want to have to touch the reins. That's why I like to do a lot of bridleless work. I like them to listen to my seat and my body. And hands should be last. And I sit up here. And he pings the last fence. And he did a super job. And we ended up seventh overall in his first training. So he did super. They're playing who can, who can get the tie. Minnie's got it and he's pulling it up. Now Sharpie's going to try and get it. <laughs> oh, Sharpie has it now. Really, Sharpie? Sharpie. 